everyone and welcome to my channel, Dr. Devori. Today, I'd like to teach you a very nice technique of how you can leave out of your boundaries people's nonsense, things that you wouldn't like to be affected by. This I learned from Dr. Peter Levine, the one who taught me somatic experiencing, which is the experience of the body, how to release trauma and stress that is stuck in the cells of the body. He said, imagine yourself that you're sitting inside an eggshell. Well, when I gave that analogy to many, many of my clients, they all chose the other possibilities that I gave them. So I said to them, you can either choose an eggshell or you can choose to sit inside a, a bubble or in a protective um, wall, behind a protective wall or uh, uh, behind uh, or inside Hashem's aura that is going to surround you from all sides. Which one do you choose? So people normally pick uh, either God's aura or they would pick um, a, a wall that surrounds them or a bubble. Okay, so now I'd like to help you establish your boundaries. If you were a child that grew up in a family where there were no boundaries, where you were not respected as a human being, where you were neglected or abused, or just um, disrespected. Then what happens is the normal boundaries that our brain is supposed to establish as we grow older from babyhood are not there. So you don't know actually where do you begin and where do you end? And where do other people begin and where do they end? So now what are you meant to do? You're going through life and you don't know where your rights are and when you don't have rights and some people take too many rights to themselves and they become the crocodile, the aggressive person, and some people become the people pleaser, the tortoise, and that's going to the other extreme where they don't take for themselves any rights and they feel like they cannot demand anything. So now, the following exercise is going to help you establish your boundaries. What I'd like you to imagine to yourself is that you are in one of these protective um, environments, as I've mentioned before. And I would like you to sense your boundaries with your hands because as I've mentioned earlier, um, our brain stem, which is the brain that is in our neck, is our reptilian brain. It doesn't understand words, it understands actions, right? Because it is connected to the body and to the body only, or mainly. Anyway, so if you want to give it any message, you've got to use your body. Right, so stretch your hand forward and sense your boundaries sense your protective wall or God's aura or your eggshell or your bubble, you're surrounded with this protective wall, you're surra surrounded with this protective shell, you're surrounded with this protective aura, whatever you chose, just notice and feel that. Good, and now go up. The reason we're doing it slowly it is because we're using our brain stem. And our brain stem thinks seven times slower then our cortex, then the human brain that we have on top of our head. So, if you're going to do this exercise quick, you're going to be wasting time. Notice your boundaries. Feel your boundaries. Notice them, experience them, and feel them, and establish your boundaries. Good, 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 excellent. Notice your boundaries, establish your boundaries, feel your boundaries. Good. And now say with me. No one and no message is ever allowed to penetrate these boundaries without my permission. No one and no message is ever allowed to penetrate these boundaries without my permission. No one and no message is ever allowed to penetrate these boundaries without my permission. Go all the way to the floor and say, No one and no message is ever allowed to penetrate these boundaries by for now without my permission. No one and no message is ever allowed to penetrate these boundaries without my permission. And do it a few times so that you teach your brainstem that this is how far people can get to you and no more. And if they say nasty things, it actually gets stuck in these walls and go, goes back on them. It cannot penetrate because now you've established your boundaries. And you know what? When you're feeling hurt, it also helps. I do it myself. Even though I'm a therapist and presumably I know it all, 
I still need to do my exercise that I teach my clients. So when somebody hurt my feelings, when I'm feeling frustrated or upset with someone, when somebody penetrated my boundaries without my permission and they said things they shouldn't have, I quickly establish my boundaries again. I remind my brainstem where my boundaries are. And then, of course, I use my body and that teaches the brainstem that these messages are not allowed in, right? And what is even more powerful, when you are hurt, after you establish your boundaries, I want you to push, 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 high and low and everywhere. So you push away the message from you. And thereby you're teaching your brainstem and your entire brain, this doesn't belong to me. Not my stuff. Say with me. Not my stuff. Not my stuff. Go away. Not my stuff. Not my stuff. Not my stuff. Not my stuff. Guess what? After you do this enough time, you're going to feel so much better. Because remember that our experiences get locked in the cells of the body. So I hope you enjoyed my YouTube. Please give me a like. And if you'd like more of this cool material, you can subscribe. And I hope that you are also enjoying the environment brought to you from Royal Natal National Park from South Africa. Sending love, Dr. Devori.